Next, coming up to the stage, we have Philip Larimore. Philip is a painter, a poet, and a critic living in Wingate, North Carolina. He has consulted for Sundance Institute, the Rockefeller, Rockefeller Foundation, and etc. Et and produced videos for PBS with Merce Cunningham, Trisha Brown, Elizabeth Shreve. His poetry has appeared in The New Yorker and his criticism in Charlotte Viewpoint and The Observer. Y'all give it up for Philip Larimore. Oh, well, here's the dread moment. Um, when I was a young man, I became very obsessed with the drawings of Leonardo da Vinci. There was uh, the Deleuze drawings. They were, I saw them at the Metropolitan Museum and they became very, very animated as I was looking at them. As I was looking at them, they would suddenly start lifting off the page and I became very obsessed with trying to figure out how he did that. And I developed a number of different techniques to answer that question. Um, one of them was, as we just saw, just saw a moment ago, uh, multi-layered imagery. Another was working with mirrors, as, as this painting right here, uh, using something where an image interflex with another. But primarily what I do is I work with aluminum screening and I'll layer a number of different images on top of each other. Uh, this one, this painting is a painting which is actually four paintings. One acts as kind of like the skeleton, the second one acts as kind of the musculature, the, the third one acts as the nervous system, and maybe the fourth as the surface or the skin. Every time you look at it, it will change. Every time you look at it, it will shift angles. Every time you look at it, it will move in a different way. Um, uh, I've been working this way for about 20 years, and I've alternated between realistic imagery and abstract imagery. This painting is one that is done on 10 layers of screening and is done with, oh, 20 different images. You can walk around it and it will shift and change. This painting is done on three layers and also kind of shifts and moves as you look at it as well. Uh, I've worked at different times with different kinds of realistic imagery. Sometimes I'll work with architecture. Sometimes I've actually done botanical studies. Sometimes I've done, oh, birds. I've studied a lot of wing anatomy, which turns into really fork. This painting is a painting of San Etienne Cathedral, which was bombed out during World War II. And it's done on layer of six layers of screen, so when it shifts, it changes. This painting is actually a chopped up painting of number of multiple layers. Um, originally, it started off as a nude, but then it became an abstraction or maybe a residual image of something sexual, I don't know. <laughs> this is a painting that was done with 48 different components, uh, so that when you look at it, it will shift like a cubist painting. Um, it was, what I started off when doing the layers, I would then decided to chop them up and turn them into reliefs. This one, I folded. I turned it around, I shifted it around, it's painted on four different layers, and at any angle you're looking through into another angle of painting. <sighs> this is done with about five layers of screen, and it's meant to do something which shifts where you have images, they're shifting on the periphery, and also one in the center. Uh, so there is a kind of um, double illusion going on simultaneously at once. This is a folded screen where I've taken four different screens and folded them so that they will shift and change as a relief work. 
And the point of this particular painting was to actually kind of create a spiral so it changes and shifts as you look at it both from the outside and then you can go and approach it on the inside and it will also change. About a year and a half ago, I became very obsessed with F.W. Murnau's Faust, which is a very spooky movie from 1926, which represents Mephistopheles taking a giant black cloak over Nuremberg and suddenly putting the plague over all of it. Um, and I decided to make some relief paintings based on both the wings of Murnau and also doing something which also reflected my interest in wing structure and wing anatomy. So these three paintings that you've just seen are actually the Murnau paintings and are actually about kind of a dark wing of the night crossing over almost a kind of, almost a kind of apparition that I was interested in. This is a four-layer screen which was folded in a number of different ways to kind of create a oh a kind of rippling landscape I guess you would call it um, and uh, it's called evening tide and uh, I've also been working with very very long pieces including one that's about 24 feet long um, the idea there is that a, a, piece, a, a really long piece can bisect a space and make the whole entire space change just by a line. These were inspired by the, faint, the, by the string pieces of Fred Sandback. This is a really large piece that changes as you walk down the stairs. It's meant to basically um, shift and change as you actually shift and change. I've been working with moving in architectural space and one of the things I've been working on is a large, I can't reproduce it so it's not up here, uh, kind of um, large corridor with three layers of screen that you can walk into. This is a 13 inch, this is a 13 layer screen piece that is done with four different scenes and that's what I do. Give it up for Philip Lambo one more time.